In the winter of 1763, an epoch-making event occurred at the University of Glasgow in Scotland. James Watt, then employed as an instrument maker, was tasked to repair the university's new common steam engine. After much fiddling, he discovered a shortcoming in Newcomen's design, and he greatly improved the efficiency of the machine by adding a separate condenser. I am standing here in the James Watt workshop in the Science Museum in London. There, were o there are over 8,000 individual objects that were transferred from his actual workshop to here after his death. All these objects bear witness to the unceasing activities of this genius inventor. This leap in the quality and efficiency resulted in the machine that came to power the Industrial Revolution. Steam engines had been in use in England since the early 18th century. They were used to drain water from the mines. The original pumps were driven by horsepower. This is also where the term com horsepower comes from. It was coined by James Watt and it was really a stroke of marketing genius. It illustrated to his customers how much actual horses they could replace by setting up a machine like this one. In August 1814, Fisher paid a courtesy visit to James Watt Jr. in Birmingham. Fisher and James Watt Jr. evidently hit off because the next day he was invited back to go riding and to have dinner with the family. James Watt Jr. brought him to what he called a place where no stranger otherwise goes. This place was none other than their top secret steam engine factory in Soho. This behind me is the so-called Smetwick engine. It was a typical Watt steam engine from the late 1770s and it just tipped. <laughs> it was a typical engine from that time, an early engine. It's massive, as you can see. It's, it would have filled an entire building. The engine behind me powered the pumps of the Birmingham Canal. And in fact, Johann Conrad Fischer saw this engine in its prime. By scaling them down, they could be applied in countless new different ways. It was the birth of steamships and of steam locomotives. Little did Fisher know that when he was riding through the country with James Watt Jr. that 200 years later the company that he helped found would have its own footprint on the very same ground. I'm here at GF Coventry, a distribution and fabrication centre. This behind me is a clean room. Arrays of pipes are being assembled there but not for the internal workings of a steam engine, but as a contribution to GF's global part in delivering tomorrow's technologies. Thanks for watching. Thanks to the London Science Museum, Think Tank Birmingham, and our colleagues here at GF Coventry. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.